Hi and welcome to the lofting tutorial on how to create a chisel. Okay, so to start off with guys, this is the shape um, that we're going to be creating using the loft tool and also the flex tool to create this curve at the end here. Um, as discussed before, we need a number of profiles. This is built up of squares, two circles and three circles and then the last loft is again using the square that we've drawn and a rectangular shape. So let's go and create our new part. So go up, new, part, OK. And first of all, um, we'll show the front plane, OK. And we want to create all of our uh, reference geometry. So I'll go across to reference geometry, plane, and I'll select this front plane, hang on, front plane. And we don't want that to just be 25. And I can create two of them. So we've got 25, 1, and 25, 2. OK. Now, if I hold down the Control key and click on this, I can actually create a new plane. So what's done is I've just created a new plane. I want this one to be 40. OK. So we can green tick that. Okay, now we're ready to start creating our what are called profiles for the loft. So in the front plane, first of all, we're going to create our square. So I'm going to go sketch. Now I want to use the um, center rectangle tool. So click on center rectangle. And now we will, from the center here, create a square that is 60. Sixty by sixty and tick that and I can exit out of that sketch now. Okay. So in plane one now we can edit sketch normal two. And we create a circle. That is twenty. It's going to be fifty in radius, like so. And we can exit now out of that. And now we're ready for our final two shapes, which are actually the same diameter. So if I go to plane two, right click, sketch, and click normal two. Now we can add and then we'll add the dimension of 85 and green tick that. Okay. So that's those two created. Now for the final plane, we'll just go into here and we're going to use a tool that you might not have come across yet. It's called the convert tool. So if I'm creating a sketch in here and I want I want to use a profile or a shape from another sketch, what I can do is select that shape from the other sketch and click the convert tool if I'm in a sketch on the on the plane and click convert and it will actually bring that sketch straight across, which is a really useful tool to uh, use. Okay, so now we've got our profiles, now we're ready to create our loft, so we'll go out of there, we'll go across to loft. First off, we'll select, uh, if I right click and clear my selection, I want to select the square first, then the circle, then the circle again, and the circle again. Okay, great. So now that's our handles being created, all ready. Now I've got to just create another plane, reference plane. So I click reference plane and off of my front plane in the reverse flip direction of um, two, I put a 200 millimeter gap like so. So in here, 200 millimeters, green tick that. And now I can create a sketch within there. I'm going to click normal two, click normal two again. So it's on the other front. And we use the square tool. We'll go across like so. And then I want to smart dimension that. So 150. And we want that to be 5. Green tick that. 
and we'll exit out. Okay, so 150 cross, five down. Now we're ready to create our second loft. So I'll click the loft. And you're thinking, wait, we've only got two profiles. So, but one profile, sorry. But if we go and click on the plus up here and go down to our first loft, we can actually reuse this sketch. So go to loft, click on the sketch like so, and then it's C, it's now selected in here, and then all I've got to do, select that one. Making sure as well, these green lines um, line up, so we want that, that, and that. There we go, that's correct, see? They're going to the equal corners, otherwise we get something that will look like that, which doesn't really work. So we want that to happen, now we can green tick that. It's all okay. Now we're gonna add one more feature, which is the flex tool. If you don't have the flex tool up here, go down to customize and go to commands, down to features, which is located here. And the flex tool, you can just drag, pick, click it here, and then just drag it across and drop it on there. I'm not gonna do it because I've got enough of these. If you accidentally drag across something you don't want, what you can do is just drag it off like so, and it will get rid of it but okay so we'll go out of that we've got the flex tool up we'll select the flex tool now we we'll select what we want to use flex tool on and if I want to bring this trim plane back down to here and what we want to do is just add say 45 degrees or something not even that harsher angle 20 just add a slight um, angle on there so drag one drag the plane across Maybe drag it down to there, so so the handle's nice and straight, and then goes down to bend. So there's the degrees and the length, and that's all okay. Now we're ready to just apply. If we apply appearance to the part, so if we go to appearances, go to metals, and choose anything. I mean, an aluminium, polished aluminium, add appearance to part, and then we're ready to save. So file, save as um, chisel. Okay, save it as chisel and save and yes. And that completes the chisel lofting tutorial.